Yeah. So, everyone, uh, guys, for example, uh, some what is my suggestion is I will tell you one thing, everyone. Um, during the practice, during the practice, some people practicing uh, some after some time, some people practicing two hours, three hours, and continuously four hours. Also, some people will go into practice. So in between, uh, every one hours, every one hour, every two hours, better my my suggestion is uh, uh, listen some melodious songs. Okay, listen songs. And uh, my suggestion is, so whenever you have time, you can listen Ramayan. Okay. So if you listen Ramayan and you people get uh, motivated. Okay. So means sometimes if you continuously doing the job, continuously uh, doing the practicing SAP, listening the class. So means even your mind also, your mind also required uh, refreshment. Okay. So, uh, so better you can, you can make as a one habit. Uh, so listen some melodious songs and uh, listen some Ramayan, Ramayan Pravachanas. Okay. So sometimes you will get motivated. Okay. So a lot of stories and uh, yeah, a lot of uh, motivational words in there. So whenever you have time, you must do that. Okay. Say yes, no. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, everyone. Let's start the class. So now, now today topic is profit center accounting. Today topic is profit center accounting. Everyone, all the videos available in Drive. Every all up to date. Yes, now. Yes, sir. Yes, very good, everyone. So everyone, uh, try to understand uh, today topic is profit center accounting or profit center. The very, 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 very important everyone. Today topic is profit center. <clears throat> everyone, concentrate everyone. Now you people want to understand what is the difference between company code and profit center. What is the difference between company code and profit center? Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. What is the difference between company code and profit center? Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. Basically, company code. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Company code is legal entity. Company code wise, company code wise, we will generate the financial statements. We will generate the financial statement for external reporting purpose. Company code wise, we will generate the financial statement for external reporting purpose. So this financial statement we are submit to the government. So this financial statements. So this is the financial statement we want to submit to the government. Where whichever government you want, you can submit to the government. External reporting purpose. So company code is an legal entity. Okay, everyone. Now concentrate here, everyone. The profit center. Everyone concentrate here, everyone. Profit center is a not a legal entity. Concentrate here, everyone. Very important, my dear friends. Very important. Profit center. Profit center is, it is not a legal entity. Profit center may create business area wise. Profit center may create segment wise profit center may create area wise whatever wise you want 
example example profit center i created business area wise business area wise what happened Pro if i create this the profit center in the business area wise it means we are generating the financial statements we are generating the financial statement for business area wise for internal reporting purpose it is called internal reporting purpose internal reporting purpose internal reporting purpose everyone for example for example i created profit center business area wise uh, for pune one uh, one profit center hyderabad one profit center uh, mumbai one profit center bengaluru one profit center each business area i will generate one profit center it means the profit center wise we will generate the financial statement for internal reporting purpose the management reporting purpose so what happened here what happened here means each business area what is my expenses what is my incomes what is my assets what is my liabilities what is my liabilities the management want to understand in case even you can in case means based on the client reporting so in case the client is required the reporting business area wise financial statements you can create profit center business area wise example example in case you can create segment wise also segment wise profit center may create segment wise profit center may create business area wise profit center may create i mean a department wise whatever you whatever you want for example for example if i create the profit center segment wise what happened it means each segment wise we will generate the financial statement for internal reporting purpose for each segment what is my expenses what is my incomes what is my liabilities what is my assets so management want to understand so in the implementation stage in the implementation stage you want to ask your client so in the what level you want to require the reports so based on that you need to create the profit center you need to create the profit center so company code wise company code wise we will generate the financial statement this is for external reporting this is this is called external reporting we are submit to the external reporting external reporting the profit center wise you can generate the financial statement for internal reporting profit center may create segment wise may create business area wise may create product wise may create blah 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 xyz whatever wise you can create you can create finally what happened for example if i create profit center in department wise so what happened each department wise what is my expenses what is my incomes what is my assets what is my liabilities we can generate the reports and submit to the management so profit center is designed for reporting purpose that to internal reporting purpose internal reporting purpose example can you see this one everyone can you see this one so this is the information i picked from the google actually okay example what is meant by profit center the it is profit center is internal area of the company mainly for the management oriented reporting purpose management oriented reporting purpose profit center is designed for the reporting purpose just like it is word expenses revenue expenses 
whatever blah 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 so that when what is for example if i create uh, each profit center in segment wise so each segment wise what is my expenses what is my incomes what is my assets what is my liabilities blah 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 like so that so it, this is with advantages of new gl concept can create it is its own balance sheet and profit and loss account okay for the internal reporting purpose for every profit center is assigned controlling area so what is meant by controlling area i will explain okay profit center display values via gl accounts okay this this is the one i can explain okay this point i will explain during the accounting entry postings also i will explain then what is meant by controlling area also i will explain so you can write first point second point even you can write third point also and fourth point profit center can be defined at product level origin level functional level business area level whatever level you want to create you can create before going to create example example everyone example uh, i example i am telling uh, you are the vipro employee or you are the deloitte employee whatever as a consultant as a consultant you are implementing pm group of company pm group of company so before going to create the profit center configuration let's take the confirmation from your client let's take the confirmation from your client let's set up meetings let's set up the meetings and you can ask on the meetings even you can take mail confirmation at what level you required the reports for internal understanding you required business area wise segment wise product wise what level you required so for that level you can create the profit set okay so can you please note it down this everyone note it down this then noted everyone no sir just two minutes ha ah, ma'am done now
Done. Done, na? Yeah. So everyone, uh, uh, please, please. Huh? Done, everyone? Noted? No? Yes? No? One second, please confirm. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. So guys, even you can try to understand this one also, everyone. You can try to understand this one also. And uh, we have business area, then profit center and segment. We have business area, profit center and segment. For example, the example, this is called uh, automotive company. And uh, in this company have a business area, profit center and segment. In the business area, for one business area, they will manufacture vehicles. Another business area, they will manufacture spare parts. And within business area, we have uh, this type of products like cars, bike, van and truck. So each product, they will creating one profit center. So what happened here? So each product level, they will generate the reports. What is the expenses? What is the incomes? What is the assets and what is the liabilities like that? And uh, they will, I mean, they will set up two segments. One is light vehicle segment and one is heavy vehicle segment. So cars and bikes comes under this segment and, and vans and trucks comes under this segment. So they will design the business like this. Okay, even this screenshot also I will pick from the internet. Okay, for your understanding purpose, I take in these two things. Okay, yeah. The one more, everyone. Maybe you catch my point. <clears throat> so profit center, profit center, you can create maybe any level. I will show you how to create the profit center. Maybe business area wise, segment wise, profit center wise, no, sorry. Segment wise, product wise, area wise, region wise, function wise, any wise. Any, for example, if you create the profit center in business area wise, means each business area wise in the coming classes, we will generate the financial statement for internal reporting purpose. For internal reporting, what is the expenses? What is the incomes? What is the liabilities? What is the assets like that? Internal report. For company code wise, you will generate the financial statement for external reporting purpose. That thing we need to submit to the government. Okay. And uh, one more everyone, concentrate here everyone. Very, very important thing I will tell you. <clears throat> Some basic information I will tell you. Basically profit center, Profit center accounting. Before ECC 6.0, before ECC 6.0 version, this is the version actually. Before ECC 6.0 version, this profit center is belongs to CO. This profit center is belongs to CO actually. Before ECC 6.0 version. Now, from the ECC 6.0 version onwards, from ECC 6.0 version onwards, so it is now it is the part of new GL concept. It is a part of new GL concept. Profit center is new GL concept. Okay, concentrate here, everyone. It is a part of new GL concept. So, for example, basically profit center is belongs to CO actually. Basically, profit center is belongs to CO. If you do any activity in the CO, any activity in the CO, first we need to create controlling area, controlling area, and we need to activate that objective in the controlling area. For example, everyone concentrate here. In the FI, in the FI, whatever activity you do, directly or indirectly, you are assigning it to the company code. 
first we will create the company code then we will assign to the company code same way in the co also in the co also if you want to do any activity in the co first you need to create controlling area controlling area is highest hierarchy in the co then you need to activate that object to in this controlling area level then you can start for example if you want to do any activity in the profit center if you want to create profit center if you want to start any profits related activities profit center related activities first you need to create controlling area then you need to activate your profit center accounting in at controlling area level then you can do then you can do your activity why why because profit center is belongs to co action guys regarding to this controlling area i will explain more information during the co but now i can give you some small explanation here <clears throat> okay first you need to create first you need to create your controlling area controlling area and under this controlling area you need to activate profit center accounting here you need to activate profit center accounting then you can start your profit center accounting configuration then you can start your profit here activate <clears throat> activate profit center accounting then you can start your profit center configuration so why why it's a controlling area is required means profit center accounting is belongs to co actually okay belongs to co actually but now it's now it's became one of the part in the new gl concept after ecc 6.0 version so if you want to start profit center configuration if you want to create profit center first you need to create the controlling area then you need to activate profit center accounting in at controlling area level then you can start your profit center configuration profit center creation and all note it down one note everyone some basic note you can note it down here for the controlling area prospective then during the co time i will explain more and more information note it down one note everyone put the heading of controlling area put the heading of controlling area controlling area is controlling area is highest hierarchy in the co controlling area is highest hierarchy in the co highest hierarchy in the co next line note it down next line note it down in the co in the co in the co if you want to do any activity or any objectives or any activity any activity any activity first we need to activate first we need to activate at 
controlling area level or at controlling area. First, we need to activate. First, we need to activate at controlling area level. What has to be activated exactly? Objects or something like that? Note it down, my dear friend. I will tell you. Why hurry, hurry? No, meaning is not coming. I, I, will, I will tell you. Please, please. Sir. Example. Example, note it down, my dear friend. Example. Example. If you want to start profit center accounting configuration, example, example, if you want to start profit center accounting, first, we need to activate, we need to activate at controlling area level, not only profit center, everyone. Uh, I mean, example, cost centers, internal order, profitability analysis, anything. In the CO, any objective you want to do, first you need to activate at controlling area level, then you, you can start your job. Why? Because controlling area is highest hierarchy in the CO. Same way in the profit center accounting also. Profit center accounting, originally it belongs to CO. So if you want to start your profit center accounting, first you need to create controlling area. Then you can activate controlling area level, your profit center accounting. Then you can start your job. So controlling area is highest hierarchy in the CO. Okay. So in the directly or indirectly, all the objectives we are going to assign in the controlling area, all CO objectives, all the CO objectives. Okay, some more information, some more information I will explain during the CO time. Do you got my point now, Sridhar? Do you got now? I understand. Yeah, very good, very good. Uh, so everyone, so uh, anyone please read the note, please read the note. Anyone? Controlling area is highest hierarchy in the CO. Hmm. In the CO, if you want to do any activity, first you need to activate controlling area level. Example, if you want to start private center configuration, First, we need to activate the controlling area level. Controlling area level. Not only profit center, everyone. In the CO, all the objectives. If you want to do any objective in the CO, cost centers, profit centers, internal orders, profitability analysis, blah, 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 blah. If you do any activity, first, we need to activate at controlling area level, then you can start. Then why now, sir, we are discussing in C1, now we are discussing Yappaina. Why you are saying, explaining this? Why? Because this profit center before ECC 6.0, profit center is belongs to CO. But half, from the ECC 6.0 version onwards, profit center is one of the objective in the new GL concept. So now, if you want to start profit center configuration, First, you need to create controlling area, then later activate, activate this profit center accounting at controlling area level, then you can start your profit center configuration. Okay, controlling area is highest hierarchy in the CO. Some more information I will explain during the CO everyone, not required now. So can you, can you please note it down this? Can you please note it down this? Maintain controlling area, OKKP. OK, and first one is basic setting. Second one is called assign to company code. Third one is called activate components. Here, here we need to activate.
first one is called maintain controlling area I mean OKKP under controlling area three steps we need to do one is basic settings one is assign to company code then one is activate components here we need to activate action that profit center accounting we need to activate then you can start Done, noted. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Then. So everyone, concentrate everyone. Before going to start profit center accounting, before going to start profit center accounting, first I will create controlling area. Under the controlling area, I will activate, I will activate profit center objectives or components. Then I will start profit center. Okay. So how to create controlling area? How to create controlling area? So this is the T code everyone. T code is called OKKP. And this is the path actually. This is the path. SPRO, controlling, general controlling, organization, maintain controlling area. Okay. So let's go to SAP. Let's go to SAP. All right, Krishna. Go to SPRO, enter SAP reference IMG. Select your uh, controlling, general controlling and uh, organization here maintain controlling area this is the path everyone this is the path controlling general controlling organization maintain controlling area so you just double click on this execute button and uh, click on here maintain controlling area Why I am creating controlling area means for this level, we need to activate our profit center accounting. First, you can activate, then you can start your job. Okay. So, so everyone, so these three things we need to do. One is basic settings, then assign to company code, then activate components. Okay. In the basic settings, click on your new entry. Basic setting, click on your new entry. Set up here any four digit and write the description. So what is the four digit I am set up? It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. Any four digit you can set up, okay? So what is my one example? Um, uh, PM, CA, uh, PM, controlling area, controlling area. Example, everyone, concentrated everyone. And this controlling area, everyone. Controlling area, same as a company code and controlling area for cost accounting. Everyone, concentrated everyone, concentrate here. If you select, if you select controlling area, same as a company code. It means this controlling area, you can possible to assign only one company code only one company code if you select if you select cross company code cost accounting means so this controlling area you can use multiple company codes with multiple currencies with multiple currencies for example everyone for example if i select first one if i select first one controlling area same as a company code so here in the currency type in the currency type, if you click on your browse, 
So here it will showing only one currency. Concentrate here. Only company code currency it will show. For example, if you select here, if you select here, cross company code cost accounting. So here in the currency you can select multiple currencies will come. Means if you select, if you select here cross company code cost accounting, this controlling area you can assign multiple company codes with the, you can use different different currencies. Everyone, can you please note it on this? Can you please note it on this? 10, 10 means company code currency, means local currency. 20 means controlling area currency. 30 means group currency. 40 means hard currency. 50 means index based currency. 60 means global currency, global company currency. And each and everything I will explain, guys, not now, in the coming classes. Note it down now. What is meant by company code currency? What is meant by controlling area currency? What is meant by group currency, hard currency, index based currency, global currency? Each and everything I will cover, but not now. Note it down this 10 means company code currency, 20 means controlling area currency. 30 means group currency, 40 means hard currency, 50 means index based currency, 60 means global currency. Done, everyone. Noted. Yes, sir. So I'm I'm selecting here company code currency example. So what is your chart of accounts? Did anybody remember? Anybody? What is our chart of accounts? Example current currency is called uh, INR. And what is your chart of accounts, everyone? PM OC. OC. What is your uh, uh, physical year variant? P3, sir. P3. PM, Very good. PMFV. Uh, that is posting period variant, actually. Physical year variant is simply P3. In case if you are any confusion, click on your browse. And uh, your P3, April to March, four special periods. Then cost center standard hierarchy. What is meant by cost center? Why cost center? It will come later. During the CO, I will explain. But now here you can set up any name. Here you can set up any name for the cost center standard hierarchy, for the cost centers. For example, I am set up here PMCA underscore cost. Here you can set up any name. Press enter. Press enter. And yes, save. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Double click on assign company codes. Yes. Click on your new entry. What is your company code? PM10 and PM20. Press enter, enter, then save. Then double click on activate components. Why we are creating this controlling area means we need to activate cost center accounting. Select your activate components, click on your new entry, click on your new entry. Physical year, what is the current physical year everyone? 2023. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 
everyone concentrate here everyone i will tell you one thing everyone very important point i will tell you everyone very important point during the controlling area creation during the controlling area creation physical ear means for the practicing purpose here you can maintain current physical ear but in the real time in the real time in the real time during the controlling area creation physical ear means here you can maintain company establishment ear company establishment ear maybe company start in the long back so that ear you can maintain here in case if you maintain current ear so that is the hr hr module people will face the issue why because some employees will joined company establishment time some employees will join 5 years back some employees will join 10 years back like that here if you maintain current year for employees master data it will face the issue for hr module please keep it on your mind everyone i am repeating note it down one note everyone note it down one note note it down the note note it down the note <clears throat> during the controlling area creation during the controlling area creation note it down note put the star and note it down everyone during the controlling area creation in the real time i mean wherever you joined a company wherever you joined the company in the real time physical ear means physical ear means you need to maintain company establishment ear next line note it down next line note it down for the practicing purpose for the practicing purpose during the controlling area creation physical ear means physical ear means you can maintain current ear current physical ear very simple everyone what i am trying to say here during the controlling area creation in the real time physical ear field here here in this field or in this cell in the real time here you can maintain company establishment ear in the for the practicing purpose you can maintain current ear no problem so finally we need to activate here everyone why i am doing this controlling area creation here everyone let's see my screen let's see my screen here we need to activate profit center accounting for this purpose i am creating this controlling area <clears throat> why i want to do profit center accounting for this purpose now i created this controlling area otherwise this controlling area i will explain during the co not required now okay so some more information some more clarification 
I will explain at the time of CO, not required now. Okay, so here you can activate profit center accounting. Go on mute everyone, please. So in case if you want to activate other things, you can activate it. Example, cost center accounting, I'm activating, activate. Then order management, in case if you want to activate, activate. Okay, whatever, whatever, example, sales order activating, cost center objectives, whatever, in case if you want to activate, activate, activate it. But main our target is to activate profit center account. Then click on your save. So this is the warning information message. You can ignore it. Everyone, I'm repeating once again, everyone, listen carefully. I'm repeating once again, listen careful. <clears throat> in the basic setting, in the basic setting, set up here any four digit and write the description. So here you want to take cross company code cost accounting. So if you select cross company code here, it is possible to select multiple currencies. In case, in case here, if you select only controlling area, same as a company code. So in the currency type, it will display only one. Okay. So now I'm selecting cross company code, multiple company codes or multiple currencies is required in the future. And company code currencies 10 I taken, INR. So here you can assign your chart of accounts and your fiscal year variant. And here you can set up any name for the cost center purpose. What is mean by cost center and all it will come. The now assign to company codes. I assign to my company codes. Click on your new entry and assign. Then activate components. Here our main target is to activate profit center account. Then click on your save and back. Everyone, do you got my point everyone? Anyone, any doubts? Now I want to start my profit center accounting. Anyone, any doubts? Now time to ask the doubts. Yeah, Vangad, I have only one small doubt. Yes, sir. Uh, you, yes, sir. you said uh, before ECC 6.0 version, uh, this profit center belongs to CO, that is yes. cost. And from ECC 6.0, it is part of the new GL, you said. Yes, sir. Yes. So actually now, uh, now in the real scenario, Hmm. Uh, now, is it ECC 6.0 that is going on or uh, because you said two versions, no, before and uh, after the ECC 6. Uh, Now, uh, here it will, now it's going on ECC 7, I mean, ECC 6.0, EHP 7 or 6 is going. That's other uh, uh, versions also introduced. Even now it's, uh, we are going, even some people migrating into the S for HANA also. Even S for HANA also we will discuss. Okay. So my question is, suppose uh, now it is uh, latest versions, no? So do we need to have a knowledge of uh, this uh, uh, ECC uh, prior to 6.2 version also? That is what I am. Yes, From that version onwards, see, for example, in the iPhone 12, iPhone 12, uh, some, some camera future is not there. From iPhone 13 onwards, camera future is there. It means even 16th version also camera future is there. Before 13, it is not there. From 13 onwards, it will be there. That is my intention. Sir. Okay. You got my point. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes, or can I repeat one second? No, we can leave it. No. Uh, sir? No, we can leave it. We can leave it. See, sir, what happened here? I can repeat once again, sir, my satisfaction purpose. Basically, SAP started, <clears throat> SAP started 1972. So every year uh, they will introduce different, different versions. Every three years once, every year, five years once, blah, 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 XYZ. 
R by 1, R by 2, R by 3, ECC, ERP, blah, blah, blah. A lot of versions they will introduce from 1972 uh, onwards. Different, different versions they are introducing. Same way ECC 6.0 is also one of the version. Before that, this profit center is belongs to CBO. From ECC 6.0 version onwards, even they introduce later, uh, later, other also different, different patch ups, different, different uh, information they add on. From that onwards, this profit center is belongs to new GL concept. Before that, it is on a CBO. Now it's in a new GL. That onwards. Mm -hmm. Do you got now, sir? Yeah. So, so you you are trying to say that the process remaining the same. It is only yes. that new versions have come into place. It means yes. even in new GL also the uh, maybe I maybe once the once we go to further classes maybe we will come to know. But you are saying the process will remain same. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, this controlling area creation etc. and all. Yes. Yes. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, next. Note it on one note, everyone. Note it on one note. Note it on one note, everyone. New GL concepts introduced. New GL concepts introduced from ECC 6.0 version onwards. So can you please repeat? Uh, anyone, anyone, my dear friends, anyone, please? Yeah, new GL concepts yeah. introduced from ECC 6.0 version onwards. Yeah. Before that, before that, there is a no new GL concepts actually. That concepts is not there. Means, uh, hello, sir. Hmm. Hello. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, like in Reliance, I'm working with. Mm -hmm. So we have both the servers. Like one is a ECC 6.0 server, and one is before mm -hmm. that server. And I'm working on both. Uh -huh. So how can I able to differentiate between like? In this, the profit centers were in the controlling area and uh, in 6.0, it is a part of the new GL concept. How will I be able to differentiate in that? <laughs> Basically, for example, uh, see, there is a no differentiation. In the reporting level, they will add more future section. Reporting level, they will add more futures. It will come later. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, everyone, any other doubts? Uh, yes, Sage on the side. Hmm, yeah. Uh, is profit center added only at a company code level or uh, it can be uh, added only? Uh, that, 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 that information I will tell you during the profit center creation time, madam. Okay. okay. Yeah. During the profit center creation, I will show you. Is this one company code or multiple company codes and all. Okay. Yeah. Now, everyone, now my target is to create the profit center configuration. To create the profit center configuration. First one, everyone, the first one is called activate controlling area. The second one, define profit center standard hierarchy. The next one, define standard hierarchy, profit center groups. Here we need to create profit center groups. Then later we need to create profit centers. Later we need to create profit centers. Everyone, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. First, what? First, you can activate controlling area. Then later we will explain. So what is how to activate controlling area? Go to OKK, whatever you created, na, that one you can activate. Go to OKKS, go to OKKS and you can activate. I will tell you one important point, everyone. Uh, 
cancelled area. Now I am activating controlling area. T code is called OKKS. Enter. So here you can give your controlling area. What is your controlling area? Just now you created PM. PM or C. PM CO. CA, I believe. PM CA. Otherwise, uh, click on your browse. Click on your browse. PM something we created. PM, PM controlling area. Okay. Then click on here. Okay. That's it. That's it. Very simple. Go to uh, go to OK case. Then give it here your controlling area. Then click on here. Okay. It will go into activate. Everyone, now concentrate everyone. I will tell you one important point. Everyone, concentrate everyone. The next one is called standard hierarchy. The next one is called profit center groups. The next one is called profit center. Everyone, concentrated everyone. So how it will define, example, how it will define, I will show you. First, I created, first I created my controlling area. What is my controlling area? PMCA. It is called controlling area. Controlling area. And uh, under this controlling area, under this controlling area, we are creating hierarchy, profit center hierarchy. Let me let me complete. Profit center hierarchy, Bolito. Here you need to set up any name. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. Example, uh, what is meant by profit center bolito, hierarchy, Bolito? Example. Uh, PMCA underscore pro. I'm set up one name. And uh, under this, we need to create profit center groups. Here we need to create profit center groups. Profit center groups. And under the profit center groups, we need to create profit center. We need to create profit center. profit center so this profit center we need to specify it. we need to specify this profit center during the accounting entry posting or document entry posting accounting entry posting we need to specify it. this accounting entry belongs to which profit center i will explain you during the accounting entry posting based on the accounting entry posting we need to generate the reports. We need to generate the reports. Reports. So this is the exactly configuration flow. First, we will create controlling area. And based on that, we will set up one name. What is this? Standard hierarchy. This is the name. So this is the bridge between this is the bridge between our controlling area and our profit center group. Controlling area and profit center group. So first we will set up controlling area. Then later standard hierarchy, any name, it may be numerical or it may be alphabets. Under this profit center group. So this is the bridge between our controlling area and our profit center groups. And uh, uh, and under the profit center group, we will create profit center. So this profit center we will specify during the accounting entry posting. So based on the accounting entry posting, we will generate the reports. This is exactly flow. Better note it on this everyone. Now we created just a controlling area. Then remaining activities we want to do. Venkat Yadav, you can call me after the class. Huh? Okay. And even Rajesh also, Rajesh Patil. Even Sejal, Sejal also you can call me. Please.
Yes, Venkat. Sir, noted. Yes, noted. Noted. Huh? So this is the configuration flow, sir, actually. So in case if the if the interviewer will ask the question, explain about profit center configuration flow, how the data is flowing. How the data is flowing means profit center start from the controlling area. So there we need to activate. Under this, we can create standard hierarchy means here we will set up one name. Under this, we will create profit center groups. Based on the profit center group, we will create the profit center. So this profit center, we will specify during the accounting entry posting. Based on the accounting entry posting, we will generate the reports. Very, very important. This thing you can tell the interview. Then interviewer will happy. Okay. Why we can start from the starting to ending, where you are activating, where you are generating the reports. Each and everything you need to understand. Now, just now we created just controlling area, remaining activities we will discuss. Got it, everyone? Any doubts? No, no. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Everyone, the next one, next step is, next step is define profit center standard hierarchy in controlling area. Here you can, just here you can set up any name, everyone. Here just you can set up any name, actually. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. Any name, okay? So it is a bridge. It is a bridge between your controlling area and your profit center groups, okay? So how to set up? This is the path, everyone. SPRO. Financial accounting new, general ledger accounting new, master data, profit center, define profit center hierarchy. So, so go to SPRO, enter SAP reference IMG, select your uh, financial accounting new, and uh, uh, financial accounting global setting and uh, what sorry general ledger accounting now I forgot it sorry we have not this general ledger accounting master data profit center this one define profit center standard hierarchy in controlling area okay this is the path everyone Everyone, concentrate here. This is the path, everyone. Financial accounting new, general ledger accounting new, master data, profit center, define profit center standard hierarchy. So you just double click on this execute button. Then click on your position. Enter here your controlling area. PMCA, enter. PMCA and uh, this is your controlling area everyone this is your controlling area so here you can set up any name it may be numerical or it may be alphabets okay so what is name I'm set up example PMCA underscore profit center account PRO any name, this is not a standard. Here you can set up any name. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. Press enter and save. So whatever name you are creating, that name will come during the profit center group creation. Okay. Click on here, save. The next one. Next one. Define profit center groups actually. It's called standard hierarchy. Same path actually, same path everyone. Same path. Uh, next one, define standard hierarchy means it's a group. Same path, next one. You can read the heading. Create standard hierarchy in the bracket profit center groups. So whatever name you are set up there now, that will come here. So here you can create example PM 
profit centers profit center groups profit center groups sir please stop your video sir so profit center group press enter and save everyone so here we need to create the groups sir which group you are going to create everyone what level you want to create that groups you can create example everyone example i will tell you one thing everyone example let it be uh, this is my one right so here we need to create the groups example i can create my groups example i will create my groups my own way i can create my groups example i am creating uh, groups everyone uh, let it be i have two types of businesses okay one is uh, one is pm steel pm steel and one more is pm cement pm cement i have two businesses pm cement and under the steel, I have uh, two types of objectives. One is uh, steel rod, steel rods and uh, steel rod segment. And uh, segment wise, I'm creating everyone. And one more is called steel sheet. Steel sheet, actually. One is called steel sheet. And here also, everyone, here also. And one more is called OPP cement. Here, uh, OPP cement. And one more is called PPP cement. PPP cement. PPP cement. So this is the groups, everyone. This is the groups. Okay. This is I want to set up. Hare Krishna. This is the groups actually. So under this group, we need to create the profit center. Under this group, we need to create the profit center. Profit center. Example, I am set up PM100. Here we need to create profit center. And here also we need to create profit center. Example PM 200. You can set up up to six digit. And uh, here you can set up profit center. PM 300 and here also we can create profit center. PM 400. Everyone concentrate here, everyone. So this is my controlling area. Under the controlling area, we set up one name. This is, we are called as a profit center standard hierarchy. Under the standard hierarchy, we will set up profit center groups. Under the groups, we are creating profit centers. For this controlling area, we are assigned to my company codes. For this controlling area and controlling area, and we assigned my company codes. Company code. During the controlling area creation, I assigned company codes company course one or more company course i assigned note it down everyone please note it down this for more clarity for more clarification note it down so this is exactly this picture you want to implement in the sap
done noted everyone yes sir so now we need to create profit center groups actually done uh, yes everyone noted see this is the configuration flow how how the means what we are doing in sap controlling area creation assigned to company codes under profit center groups under like profit center so this profit center we will specify during the accounting entry posting later we will generate the reports like that so means each and every process you people want to understand why what what is the process how the data is flowing this level we are going to understand done everyone can i create profit center groups yes sir so here everyone so this is the one actually no i am repeating one second come to this part this one define profit center hierarchy this is the groups actually if you double click on this so this is the name profit center group so this name will come hierarchy this hierarchy is the bridge between your controlling area and your profit center groups okay so everyone concentrate here everyone concentrate here now i am creating profit center groups very important concentrate here you can select your hierarchy pmca underscore pro pro and click on your lower level set up here up to eight digit and write the description example i am set up um, pm10 underscore st steel pm steel profit center group and press enter then select this click on your same level same level and pm20 underscore st so what is this pm cement profit center group press enter then uh, select this click on your st click on your lower level example uh, pm st and uh, underscore pm st under you can say this is not a standard actually you can set up any up to eight digit it may be numerical or it may be alphabets and pm st underscore uh, rd what is this example pm uh, steel example steel broad profit center group profit center group press enter and select and same level same level uh, pm st underscore uh, sheet sd whatever sd pm steel sheet profit center group enter then uh, here here everyone and uh, select this cement cement select this cement click on your lower level and uh, pm pm ct underscore op what is this pm opp cement profit center group enter then select this same level pm ct underscore pp pm ppp cement profit center group profit center group press enter and save so this is the groups actually steel rod profit center group steel sheet profit center group opp cement profit center group ppp cement profit center group 
Under this, we will create the profit centers. Click on here. How is same? How we maintain the Excel now? How we maintain the Excel? Controlling area. Under the controlling area, standard hierarchy. Under the standard hierarchy, groups. Under the groups, we will create the profit centers. Got it, everyone? Following? Yes, no, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining. Let's meet tomorrow. After creating the profit center, I can give you maybe you people something confused. So once again, you can watch our recording video on Google Drive. Then let's do the practice after creating the profit center. In case of any doubts, we will discuss more. Okay. Say yes, no. Yes, sir. So uh, yes. Sejal and Rajesh and Venkat yes, Yadav, please call me after the class. Please, my dear friends. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.